Okay, so we've finished putting out the balls. We've left them out for a whole day or maybe more than a day. Maybe we put them out early in the morning and pick them up late in the evening. And now we're ready to take whatever our catch is out of the bowls. So what I use is a little uh, net here. And this one's a brine shrimp net. It's got a very fine mesh to it. A lot of people will use sieves, something they get at the uh, or tea strainers. It doesn't really matter. I just happen to prefer this thing. They're inexpensive. I can buy them in bulk. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up the bowls. I'm going to dump each bowl's contents into the net as I go along. And I'm not going to try and separate things by bowl or by color. That's um, uh, not the usual goal for traps. Um, it's much more efficient to dump everything into the, um, the net all at one time. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, just so you know, it takes about the same amount of time to pick up bowls as, as it does to put out bowls if you're thinking about your, your day and do the scheduling. So we've picked up all the bees out of the bowls, and you can see how I hold the net and the bowls in one hand. That gives, frees up my other hand to pick up bowls or do other things. And now we've got the specimens in the bowls, and I need to take them out and put them into something. I, we use whirl packs, and we'll show that in a second. Um, what you can also use is just a Ziploc baggie. Um, it just needs to be something that can hold alcohol and keep the specimens separate. Some people use vials. Um, but the problem with files is that they are cumbersome, take up a lot of room, and um, can break. So when I have them in the net, um, what I found is just a simple plastic spoon. It doesn't have to be plastic, it could be anything. Um, you can come in and scoop the uh, specimens out. I'm not doing a good job here because I'm trying to do two things at once. And then you have the specimens on the spoon. You might have to do it a couple times. And then you can take them and dump them into the bag or into the um, warp. Okay, so <clears throat> we've gone out, we've collected our bees, we've got them in a spoon. What we're going to do is add them to a whirl pack so that we can uh, store them until we have time to process them. So we just uh, drop the bees in, flick them off, we add a site label. So what that information on here has is the site number and then the date. And note that date is always set so that the month is spelled out or use Roman numerals and the um, year and the day of the month is done in, um, in, uh, in regular numbers. That way we don't get confused as to what the month is and what the day is. You add that in, it's always done in pencil. Um, even technical pens sometimes run, so you want to put it, the, um, the label in pencil and you add it to the world pack. Let me get this right. Add it in there. And then when I'm in the field, I then just fold this over one time and um, do a quick twist. And then I add the alcohol later when I'm back in the lab because it just takes too much time and it's too much of a bother to take the alcohol in the field. Then when I'm back in the lab, what I do is I open this back up and I add alcohol. And what I'm gonna do is I'm not going to add alcohol, um, uh, a lot of alcohol. I'm just gonna add enough alcohol that it covers the specimens um, don't really need to be in, in a, a great deal of alcohol. You can see that the alcohol is just to that level there. And then what I do is I strip all the air out of the bag. And note that there's a place to write things on here. Um, that usually doesn't work well. If you write on there, it smears, it comes off, the ink runs. So that's why we always put the site label in there. So we take the air out and then I roll the top down and I keep going until, and I can roll the label right up to, until I get to the level of the water. And then I twist the ties together, like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck that end in, 
because it's made of wire, I can poke another bag, and then I can take this and I can put it in a, another Ziploc bag with all the, um, the other world packs that were collected that particular day. And then I'm pretty much done. Um, if I'm gonna process it very quickly, I'll just leave it out. If it's gonna be a while, I'll put it in the refrigerator or a freezer.